All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Of course, we're gonna start this day off with a cold start. And we're gonna try and do something that I haven't seen anyone else do today. So stay tuned and listen up. And here we go for the cold start. channel as you can see we're getting buckled in here getting all set up we're gonna take a little trip what we're gonna do uh, today is we're gonna look at intake air temperatures and we're gonna see if wrapping my cold air intake uh, with some uh, reflective insulation tape uh, see if that actually helps my uh, intake air temperatures so I haven't seen anyone do this. Um, so we're gonna take a little trip. I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. So if you guys wanna just skip to this real content, you can go ahead and do that. But, um, so the whole, you know, the whole situation, you know, that the entire country is in today uh, is making it extremely hard for me to, uh, really dream up some content so if you guys have any suggestions on what would what you'd like to see on the channel especially during uh during this downtime from uh racetracks being open uh of course they're all closed um uh, i can try and line up some uh, some races with some other folks I, I really don't like to do any street racing uh, but if it's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll try and line up some uh, some races, do some you know for, uh, 40 rolls, 50 rolls, see if I can't find you know a couple scat packs, uh, 392, uh, maybe get a Hellcat, um, you know just for fun, try and make uh, try and make some content, try and keep the channel going uh, during this time when. Um, you know things think things are a little bit slow right now so like I said if you have any uh, any suggestions on uh, you know on what you would like to see for content hit them uh, hit me up in the comments below all right everybody all I'm trying to do now is get the uh, get the car up to temperature you know get get up, get it get it up in that operating temperature so it's a fair comparison of uh, you know stock box uh, the way it is right now compared to after I do a uh, get some uh, insulation wrap and wrap the uh, wrap the box and maybe the uh, the tube leading into the uh, into the throttle body so I want to I want to get a, a you know a fair comparison uh, right now you know it's 49 degrees uh, I'm cruising at about 62 miles an hour my current intake air temperature is 53 degrees so that's you know four degrees off ambient is uh, is pretty good um, so like I said what we'll do is we'll get her up to temperature uh, we'll do a cruise see where we're at and, uh, and uh, temperature wise uh, and then we'll stop see how far uh, see how far those uh, those temperatures increase and then we'll compare it to uh, to when we get it wrapped uh, and also I'm gonna get some uh, uh, some insulation to put around the uh, the rubber rubber piece on top because I don't think it's all the way uh, closing up against the uh, up against the hood uh, so I'm gonna get some get some stuff to see if I can boost up that uh, that rubber uh, to uh, to where it closes up on the hood so uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, everyone, we got the car warmed up. As you can see, we got the coolant temp at 185, oil temp at 179, and we come back across. We're looking at the intake air temperatures, and I'm cruising at 70 miles an hour, and right now it's 52 degrees out. You can see it, 
and my air intake temperatures are 57 degrees. So, um, you know, five or six degrees off of ambient, I, I think is pretty good. Uh, when I had the, uh, when I had some of the other intakes, the air, intake air temperatures were basically the same, uh, really, uh, not much difference um, that I noticed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head to Home Depot now. We're gonna go ahead and pick up some, uh, pick up some stuff from Home Depot and head to the house, wrap this thing up, and then we'll take another drive, make sure we're up roughly around the same temperatures uh, in the engine bay, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm at, currently at a red light, and you can see coolant temp 185, oil temp 181, and literally you can see uh, it was going out at 113, 114, so it's slowly, slowly building up to a uh, little over double, uh, <laughs> double ambient. Uh, when I was cruising, you know, we were, you know, five, six degrees off of ambient. Now we're, you know, uh, over double. So we'll sit here for a sec uh, at this red light, see how far, uh, see how far this goes. And yes, I see the low, low fuel light. We're going to get some fuel uh, on our way here in a minute. So yeah, all right. Now we're about 125% uh, of, of ambient. And she just continues to, uh, to keep climbing. here we are we're back uh, we're back and we are headed out after uh, putting on all the insulation and the tape and all that stuff to uh, to get it locked up against the hood so now we're gonna see what those intake temperatures look like so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get go get the car warmed up and we'll see you in a second 
All right, guys, we're cruising at the uh, 70 miles an hour, and uh, it's switching between 52 and 53 degrees, and we're running at 59 degrees intake air temps. So we're roughly in that six to uh, seven degree uh, off uh, between ambient. So take a look, oil pressure, or oil, uh, coolant temps 185, oil temps 174. So very similar to uh, what I had this morning. Uh, before I wrap the box so uh, this is after I wrap the box so we're about six seven degrees off of ambient uh, once I get up here uh, I'll pull over uh, pull into a parking lot we'll sit and see how high they go all right uh, I couldn't stop at a parking lot my GoPro my GoPro battery died on me uh, so I am back at home now uh, got my spare battery in and running running hot right now so uh, looking at the uh, the time I've been sitting here roughly about seven minutes, maybe seven between seven and ten minutes. Uh, you can look at the air intake air temp, ninety eight degrees, uh, fifty two degrees out. So literally, uh, you know, saving myself twenty ish plus degrees in, in intake air temp by uh, by wrapping the box. So. Um, you know, we got the coolant temp is a little cooler. Uh, you know, at 167, oil temps at 168. Uh, but, you know, normally at the track, you wait five or ten minutes. Uh, come back in and check things. And uh, as you've seen uh, with the uh, before I wrapped it, the, the sitting still, the intake air temperatures were well over, you know, 120. So, uh, you know. Uh, is this going to help at the track? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Was it worth the time and effort <laughs> and the twenty dollars worth of materials to uh, to wrap the box? Nah, eh, probably not. But um, so let's flip around here. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, just a quick, another quick wrap up. Uh, does it help in intake, intake air temperatures when you're cruising? Nope. <laughs> they were pretty much exactly the same. Uh, does it help after you, uh, sit and park for a few minutes? I would say absolutely. Uh, cause you know, I dropped a good, uh, 20, uh, 20 plus degrees, maybe 25 ish degrees, uh, and sitting here. So would that help in the track by, you know, uh, possibly hot lapping. Uh, I think so. I, I think, you know, you can get your air temperatures back down quicker, uh, get up, get up to the line and, and take off. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I appreciate y'all taking some time out of your busy days. I know every, <laughs> everyone's probably home because of the coronavirus looking for things to watch. So hopefully you, you stuck through the whole thing and stuck it through the end. Uh, I, again, I appreciate you taking your time. Uh, if you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, get notifications. If you like the content, hit that smash that like button. And if you're returning, I thank you again for coming back, watching my video. And uh, again, if you like the content, hit the like button. Also, uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time.